welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. So today I created this look right here. It's a cut crease smoky dramatic look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Glam Rosa. Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. I don't want you losing me in this big old YouTube world. So please subscribe and join the Glam fam. So, you know, we can be best friends and all. So, anyways, let me stop talking. No, actually, just in case you guys didn't know, there's currently a hurricane going on, and I decided to film this look. So, you know, in case shit hits the fan, I want to go out looking glam. Yeah, but nothing has happened. But other than that, let's just get started on this look. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started with this look. Before we get started, Start it. I'm gonna put some glow on my shoulders really quickly. I'm gonna be using a Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Hey guys. So I already moisturized and primed my face. I use a Lubriderm moisturizer and a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So we can start on foundation. Oh, can we talk about this? This is not cute. If you have me on Snapchat, then you've probably seen the snap I did on it. Oh, it still hurts. Like if I get up close, you see the skin. So. Anyways, ignore that. We're gonna jump on to foundation. I'm gonna be using Hourglass Stick Foundation. I am in the shade Honey, just in case you're wondering. So I'm gonna be doing just strikes. And then I'm gonna blend it. <laughs> using a Morphe M439 brush, I'm gonna be blending Blending this out into my skin, just in circular motions. Alright, that's just one layer. To give it more of a full coverage look, I'm going to go in with another layer of this foundation. Alright, now that we're done with our base and we look one color, we're going to be hiding these dark circles that I know we both see. Everybody else sees. And they're not cute. So I'm going to be using a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This is awesome. I love this. Using a Sigma at 70 brush, I'm going to be applying the concealer. I'm going to be using a Real Technique sponge to be blending out my concealer. I'm also going to be applying this concealer to my eyelids. This is going to help keep my eyeshadow on. So it's going to help as a primer. Now to set my under eyes and my nose, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And to do that with, I'm going to be using my Real Technique Sponge. I like to push in the powder under my eyes instead of baking. It's just what I like to do. But I am going to be baking my nose. Because I'm super oily. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now to set the rest of my face so it won't move whatsoever, I'm going to be using CoverGirl Clean and Matte um, Powder using my Sigma F30 brush. Alright, now to snatch my face, I'm going to be using Smashbox Contour Kit with my Sigma F40 brush to do so. First, I'm going to go in with the middle shade to bronze up. And then I'm going to go in with this shade to give it more of that snatch look on my cheekbone. Alright, now I'm going to be using the bottom of the brush to pick up the darker shade. And I'm going to focus this more right here at the bottom. I'm going to quickly pick up some translucent powder and apply it at the bottom of my contour just to give it more of a clean, sharp look. Alright, now that I have both of my sideburns on right now, I'm going to move on to my nose. I'm going to be using this brush and E... Oh no, it's fading away. An E60 a brush and I'm going to pick up the dark shade just a little bit. And I'm going to contour my nose right on top of my powder. There we go. And now I'm just going to make these eyebrows appear. So, one, two, three. Now we have eyebrows on. Okay. Now my eyes look so tiny. So, I actually forgot to put highlight on. So, I am not done with my face. So, let's put some highlight on because now we need to be glowing. I'm going to be using a Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I'm going to be using my Morphe M504 brush to do that. Ready? Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Look at that. Look at that. There we go. And now we're actually done with our face. We're snatched and glowing to the gods. Now we're going to move on to the eyes because I don't know where my eyes went. They're so tiny right now. But we're going to make some. Face. <laughs> That's where they went. You welcome. So we're going to be using the Morphe 350M. 350M? Yes. Palette. This is the All Matte Palette. I love this palette. Using my Sigma E60 a brush, I'm going to pick up this light shade and I'm going to be applying this to my brow. Now picking up my Morphe M441 a brush, I'm going to go in and pick up this color right here. And I'm going to put this all over my crease going all the way in and going all the way out. All right, now that we have that shadow down, I'm going to go to this one using that same brush. And I'm going to put this on my crease also, but I'm going to be keeping it a little bit lower. So, it's just underneath. I'm not bringing it as high as the first one. Now picking up this E40 Sigma brush, I'm going to go in with the shade and I'm going to put this on my crease line. Now picking up this smaller precise brush, this is an e.l.f. brush. It doesn't have a name, but it looks like this. I'm going to go in with this dark brown. And I'm going to focus this right on my crease line. Once again. 
but because the brush is not so fluffy, it's going to be right on my face. I'm going to be going in the Jaclyn Hill palette to grab a black eyeshadow. So you really don't need this palette for this look. If you have a black eyeshadow, just grab that one. So I'm going to be using the black eyeshadow on this palette with my E55 brush. And I'm going to put this on my outer V on my lid. Whoa, this black is black. Oh my god, you guys, I just sneezed and the black eyeshadow transferred to the bottom. So all I'm doing right now is grabbing just a brush and I'm blending out the edges. I am going to be grabbing some concealer and my, and my F70 brush to cut half of my crease. Alright, I already went ahead and cut my crease and I also set it with a white shadow. Now I am going to be using my 350S palette, so the shimmer palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade. It's like a very light bronzy color. And I'm going to put this all over my crease, but I want it to be a little bit more metallic. So I'm going to be wetting it. There we go. Can we see this beautiful lid? I am dying for this color. So now we're going to move on to the bottom. What are we going to do to the bottom of it? So now I'm going to be adding a little bit of highlight to my inner corner. Uh, well, maybe not this one. This one looks just like it. I need to find a lighter. So I'm going to go back to that palette and I'm going to pick up this first, sh first shade. There we go. And I'm actually going to do a wing liner really quickly. I'll be right back. Alright, now that I'm done doing my liner, I'm going to put some black eyeliner on my waterline. Going back to my 350M palette, I'm going to pick up that dark brown with this e.l.f. Precise Flat Brush and I'm going to be smudging out that black eyeliner that we just put down. Now I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and I'm going to and I'm going to go back into this light of brown and I'm going to be smoking out my bottom lash. I picked up a little bit of the black and I'm going to put it at the end of my bottom eyeshadow like right here just at the end. Now I'm going to go in with mascara to prep my lashes for falsies. I'm going to be using L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Now I'm going to be popping these lashes on. These are from Ilore Lux in the name Apulent. All right, there we go, you guys. Now I have my lashes on. Now I'm gonna move them to lips. I'm gonna be using L'Oreal Paris lipstick in 804 in the name he thinks he's macho. And because I'm a glossy girl, I'm gonna be applying this gloss right in top of it. This is Milani Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss.
All right, and I have to set everything and make sure it doesn't move around, it doesn't disappear, it doesn't slip around, you know. I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray Set. Um, This actually does keep my face on, but I just don't like the smell of it. Uh, I don't have my Urban Decay spray here with me, but I actually don't have none, so that's why I'm going. Um, using in this one. But it stinks. Sorry, L'Oreal. But it stinks. <laughs> it smells bad. I don't like the smell. There we go, you guys. It's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below saying anything just saying hi I will reply to you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet all you have to do is click my little face right here and in case you didn't know I am currently doing a giveaway I'll put the link to that right up here and if you want to see more makeup looks of me you can watch the second video that is right here and I will catch you guys on my next video bye Mm, what are we eating? You think the taco place is open? <laughs> Can I say something? Yes, it looks ugly. Um, mm -hmm. you know what? Do not talk. Have you seen your face? <gasps> um. <laughs> oh, birds. <laughs> um, enthusiastic. I'm going to be using Smashbox, um, really, Rosa? I'm going to disown him. Uh, you going to disown your son? Because he thought it was raining spiders. <laughs> I didn't get that so funny. Oh my god. Should I prank Marco? And say what? Marco, because he's, he says he's going to sleep. <laughs> Marco, we gotta evacuate right now. He's coming our way. He's coming our way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>